Hello everybody, welcome back. Session 13, Blood Pack Part 2. The party has been deliberating on what to happen next. And then just kind of like trying to, to cut through the noise and the fact that everybody has been just like saying all these ridiculous ideas and more or less everybody's kind of like... The They're all good. You're all good. Everybody's kind of like, I want the godling to go. Finally, Leonard decides to, 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 to pierce through it and say... He threw such a massive shit. If you me, guys want the Catholic to do it, for that's days. fine. Just we did, it's fine. Practical. We did the D&D &D thing. We made a plan, swiftly abandoned it, and changed <laughs> it. <laughs> and now is the part where everything goes to hell. Leonard, Leonard more or less just says... Leonard more or less just says, like, you want to do a godling? That's fine. But... But me if you first. Want to do, if you want to do the godling, that's fine, but let me try. I'm gonna try. And you wanna be invisible while you try? What's your plan here then, Leonard? I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> <laughs> great. Absolutely great. Branch is reading the book. All I need all I need is blood, right? How do you get blood? Injury? You Who knows? Him. Maybe he's you know, maybe he's got some kind of physical ailment that he requires blood transfusions for, and I could just find a vial, that would be why don't we go and schedule a meeting with him? And you can either turn invisible or speak to him. Either you really way. I think he will see you after being insulted in the streets twice. Well, I, I mean, think... I don't. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, I think I can convince him. I got. I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, okay, so just as a reminder for everybody uh, watching that might not remember this, the Godling, the reason why uh, Leonard is so against that is last time they encountered this thing, there was more or less a, all right, you hide, you count to whatever number, and then he ran. Because if the Godling found him, he'd have to give him that card that he had won in a previous match of, of Gwent. Which, I, on, funny enough, we have barely ever played Gwent since then, so I'm excited to eventually play that game again. But in the meanwhile, he, oh, he would have to abandon a card that he had won in a game of Gwent to the to the stupid thing. So, um... Doesn't um, play Gwent fucking... So every, everybody get, gets their stuff together. They don't go looking for the Godling yet, but they kind of keep an eye out for where it might be, so on and so forth. And they just kind of lie low, maybe even in Malvoon's home. Um, while, while you go off. Leonard, you're not going invisible, correct? I'm not going invisible. Where are you heading to? Stefan. Straight to him. Okay, so he will be, uh, you know, outside, uh, kind of making his loops around the city. And, um, actually it was, just one second, Rick, uh, kind of like finishing up what he was, uh, working on in, like, a nearby area, and is literally, same three guys he was with earlier, heading back towards his middle area where everybody's, like, training and... And so they're doing all their stuff outside there, and there's posts all around. Rick, you were going to say something? I want to follow him invisible. Um, sure, you're welcome to do that. Uh, you have to make a, uh, a stealth check um, uh, to follow him. Because you're invisible, it's advantage. It's still going to be crap. Honestly, he'd probably notice that after a while. Because his passive... Uh, Is it Leonard or... Leonard. My passive's a 19. Leonard. Yeah. Well, I don't mind if Leonard notices. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean, we might also notice you just going, pop. <laughs> I would have told you guys, like, I don't have faith in that. I'm going to follow <gasps> him. Okay. So, so you go and you, you find him as he's kind of like a, approaching back to that center area. And you go walking up to him. And he turns in, uh, to regard you. And as he does so, he um, looks to his men. And his men you know, kind of like stop moving forward. And he walks like another 10 feet forward ahead of them. So you meet up with him a little bit more of a distance from the rest of the men. Crosses his arms and regards you. Hello, Stefan. Nice to see you again. I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure it's mutual. Um, so I've heard you've been, um, you've been having some problems with the, with the human in our group. He's a bit of an idiot. He can be, yeah. He's very headstrong. Um, he's you drunk. know, honestly, he's always drunk. It's pretty consistent. You're right. Look, he's he's been kind of getting on our nerves too. I, I he's been a lot to handle. Um, I, this is weird. I was gonna, I need to ask you a favor, Stefan. Uh, do you think? I mean, you're you're 
you seem like a strong guy. You, you, I mean, you obviously didn't get here off of your, you know, wits alone. Like, it takes some muscle, right? The whole time like, you're saying this stuff to him, his eyes kind of, like, narrow as he's trying to, like, clearly you're here for a reason. And he's trying to get to, like, understand what that point is. Um, but he lets you continue as he's kind of, like, trying to figure out what, what point you're getting to. So anyways, he, he nods slowly. Do you think maybe you could literally help us knock some sense into him? You know, a good old fist of cuffs in the streets. Maybe some of your boys can play some bets, you know? Just something that'll knock him down a peg. He he chuckles for a second, like laughs at, at uh, what it is that you're referring to as he kind of like puts two and two together. And, um, and so he thinks for a few extra seconds and then he nods. Uh, no, no. And then he nods, and he's like, "Yeah, fine. You want me to spar with Tell? Call it a training. Sure. It sounds. It sounds like a plan. Can't wait to see it. And I'll hold out my hand for him to shake. He shakes your hand. That right there is a dangerous man." And I, I'm talking about Leonard, the man who doesn't <laughs> incite the big bad. Uh, <laughs> My alarm bells went ringing as soon as he said yes. He watches after you as you turn back. And he watches after you as he's contemplating like this exchange he just had. And, you know, because there's like gears working in his head. And then, you know, he kind of like calls to his men and he keeps walking back towards the area. You head back to the group. Well, I on the way back. there for a few more moments before leaving, mm -hmm. just to see if he does anything interesting. Walks back to the uh, to the camp. Uh, eventually, kind of like, you know, when he gets back up there, it speaks to one of the training people and says there'll be a special bit of training, and he wants to have, uh, you know, a few of the men watching. Uh, others can do things elsewhere, but he wants to have a specific group of men watching the training session. Okay. On the way out, I will, um... <laughs> On the way out, like, while, while he's going one way, I'm going the other way. I'm just gonna, like... Like, it, when I hit the doorway to leave, I'm just going to, like, turn sideways and, like, motion for Derp to come in. <laughs> and then walk out behind him. You just kind of leave the door open. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, so, you guys go in. He obviously knew that you were invisible the whole while, which is funny. You had to cast it multiple times or whatever, but not a big deal. Or maybe you didn't. It's, uh, it's the last an hour. But go ahead. So, you go in there. Uh, everybody's together. Oh, the we're all together now. Yep, yep, very easy. <clears throat> so tell, I uh, got the best of both worlds. Oh, got the blood then, and best nope. of both worlds. You made friends with him. Worse, I didn't <laughs> get the blood, and you're gonna fight him. <laughs> oh. Uh... You know, Leonard, I followed you because I had no trust in you trying to convince him, but upon hearing that... So, just to make this clear, I'm yeah. I'm fighting him. Good old fisticuffs, yeah. You explicitly said fisticuffs, yeah? I think so. Because I don't want you him chopping my hand into off. someone by killing him. I, 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 you know, he didn't say he was going to kill you, so... I want to fight him. If, if you weren't a witcher, I would probably try and punch you for signing me up to this. You probably still could. <laughs> you know, let's, you do like let's to punch, put it right? this way. So, he this wouldn't kill you if he didn't need you for the job. How do we plan on getting the blood after this spar, though? Just walk up to him with a rag. <laughs> Just be like, here you go, Stefan, and. Dab some off. That's actually not the worst that you've ever heard. That awful. I was That's thinking... providing I beat him enough to make him bleed. I mean, it's not that I'm not confident, but Stefan <laughs> is a you, fairly well-trained fellow. You could also do things like press digitation to throw it off of the ground and into a vial. Whether or not there's dirt and whatnot included, maybe that's not your problem. I was gonna essentially uh, say, like, that... Well, Bren can go invisible. Why with wouldn't a Bren... floating rag. <laughs> No, the blood would inevitably be knocked to the floor if it was enough. So, so uh, when is this training? This sparring? Pretty now. 
Oh, pretty you ready? Are you drunk? <laughs> Little bit. Enough. Okay. Do you need more? Just a just a snifter. Sure, sure. <laughs> and so you guys make your way to the area. Now he did set up for some people to watch, and there's a bit of grandstanding as he says like words, and it's kind of like a douche. He says words. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, about Ooh, about wow. about uh, insubordinate young uh, soldiers that you know may be capable in fighting. He but... likes me really. <laughs> But don't understand uh, the importance of teamwork and why it is that that people need to work together and so on and so forth and da 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 da. So he gives like this this like That's more weird. or less insulting your character and talking about why it is that you're kind of an ass. Uh, and then he goes to spar with you. The sparring includes you ready for this? Uh, a sword and board, long sword and shield, wooden. Uh, sorry, it's it's a it's a dulled sword, like very dulled, so it would fucking hurt, but not actually uh, kill you. And they're not even cut into you. Um, but it's actually a long sword and shield sparring match. Is it first to yield? It's me for one moment. Why, why, am I, why am I? It's probably an unconscious thing if we ever. Uh, so, so do you call that out first to yield? I would say it's first to yield. Yeah, yeah so, so you call asking, is it first to yield? He looks mm -hmm. over to, to your question and looks back at him and says, only if you're conscious enough to say, to, to yield. All right, there you go. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm trained in the use of... Swords or boards? No, you are not. I'm I'm trained in the use of... No. Short swords. This is a long sword, boy. Oh. Throw it down and just convince him to go straight yeah. man to man. Yeah, uh, Tao, Tao will literally throw them on the floor. Um, He looks to you and says, We're engaging in fair combat. We're Pick sparring. them up. Al raises both his fists and spits on the floor in front of him. So you don't pick up your weapon? Too scared to fight me with your fists, huh? He needs to be trained in rules. And when he says that, five people uh, uh, come rushing forward with, 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 with like bats to start hammering at you. <laughs> <laughs> Take them all out. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so do you want to actually engage with these five people and get the shit kicked out of you? Well, yeah, we, we, we got to get his blood. We got to get Stefan's blood, man. No, so Stefan does not run forward. He's, he he stays back. He stays a distance away and says he needs to be trained in, in how to follow rules. And five people rush forward. Cool. So, um, do this every time. Kind of a dummy. Can Come I on, roll? Can I want some of this? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you can roll your initiative. I, I always clear it, so you're good. Do we all also roll, or is this just him? It's supposed to be just him, unless you guys are completely I'm breaking probably, their rules of engagement. If they if they're gonna fucking surround him, just I don't let's like let's that. see how it goes. They're surrounding okay. him. You have to remember they're surrounding him because he's choosing not to uh, follow the rules of engagement. Um, that's that's how it's being framed. Okay. So so five people rush forward. Uh, and as they surround you, you know, it's kind of like they, that happens all at once. Initiative happens. You crush initiative. Um, so you get to go first, Tal. Um, so Tal, in a, in a show of sheer acrobatics, Tal's going to barrel over them. He's going straight for Stefan. Uh, okay. Um, so you're going to roll me an acrobatics check to try to get past all of them. Oh, no, you can step with the wind, can't you? I could step at the wind, but I'm not going to. I I know I can't step at the wind. That doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It fine. allows you to to disengage. Oh yeah, let's do that then. It's my bonus action. Mm -hmm. All I've got to do is lay one good punch. Okay, so you disengage. So you more or less rush past all of them. Uh, more or less as they're engaging, you just move past. Maybe like knock one of them to the side enough that that do they, a spin you know. spin move with a stiff arm. And uh, football this year has been very interesting to watch. Uh, <laughs> so. So, so you um, uh, make your way over to him. That's your bonus and your move. Um, and Tal will punch. Okay. He goes for like cheek. He needs to get that good splatter of blood. Make your attack roll, sir. Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you triggered my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You hit. I think. I think. You hit. Hold on. Hey! Give oh. me one second. Sorry. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, I rolled shit. So he's able to parry um, uh, the blow as it comes in, and the way he parries it is he literally kind of like s open slaps your the inside of your wrist as it's coming in. But unfortunately, it's one of those things where you're so meaty, it, it, it actually more slaps the flesh than actually hitting the spot where it kind of slaps your wrist on itself. So 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 he, he tries to open slap this, which would for uh, a, a, a skinnier person would have collapsed the attack, but you like, still get through and deal five points of damage um, as you parry. Oof. It's not enough to actually, you know, make him bleed by any means, but you hit him. You have your second attack. Tal's gonna name in the bowls. That's not gonna make him bleed. No, yeah, I've fine. already, I've already got blood. You do? That would, that would have been a splatter of blood. Well, it may be bleeding inside the cheek, but unless he spits or something, ain't no blood out yet. Go ahead. There's no blood yet. Okay, fine. Let's punch him in the face again. <laughs> and then you'll be like, I yield. This was fun. No? <laughs> Do I witch a sense? Because I might not get another turn. Do you give in like a massive pussy? Yeah, let's witch a sense. Click at the button. You think, what do you think his AC is? What kind of armor do you think he's wearing? Okay. Clay, so I don't think this will hit. Or so, a chain. So it's a 14 total, um, which is not enough. So he actually gets the shield down and uh, uh, the shield up in time that you end up kind of like sliding your fist off of the shield. And it's one of those like, oh, you're going to have like two splinters from that one. But you slide your fist on the shield as he blocks himself. And um, so he's going to look to you and just shake his head as once again, you're you're ignoring the rules of engagement. And so the five people now surround you. They move up and they all attack you. So give me one second. How far away was he? Uh, not far, 15 feet. Nothing crazy. I mean, I could have carried on moving at the end of my turn after the attack. Would you have run through and passed? Is that what you were like, ha ha! I mean, it might have been a monk thing. It's like dancing around him. I certainly wouldn't keep my back to them. No, you could, you know, turn it. So, so either way, they're going to be flanking you because they're surrounding you. But mm -hmm. um, so number of attacks that comes from them. Um, their chance to hit's not crazy high. Oh, shit, I actually forgot something. I have to cancel this. I forgot to do advantage, because they have, uh... Dang, you forgot to do advantage. Man, we don't want you to miss they've that. Got, they've got pack tactics? No, 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 because they're surround... Oh, sorry, it's not advantage. My apologies, you are correct, sir. It's only plus two. I'm sorry, I, I knew that we were applying something, so I'll just change the... There we go. Five, normal attack roll. So it's uh, this modifier instead of that one, which is much better. Their damage is not crazy high because they're only using cudgels. Um, so it's only 1d4 plus instead of 1d6 because they're not clubs. You know, it's cudgels. Well, tell us so, took five attacks. Your AC is not a 17, I don't think, because you used your unarmed strikes. So Was it a 19 instead? Uh huh? When you attack with your bare hands, does it increase your AC by two for one turn? Yeah, but it's it's still that. Oh, it's a seven. It's a seven it becomes it goes a seven. Thank you. Yeah, it goes up to a, a, a nineteen with that jail power parry. So oh, it becomes a nineteen or a seventeen was my question. So it's still a seventeen because agile parry, if you look, is something I have to. You have to declare that you're using it. No, you don't. If you make an unarmed oh, no. strike as okay. part of an action, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. then it's nineteen. So, so three attacks becomes one. <laughs> three hits becomes you're one. You're not holding that, a that's... Kensei weapon, are you? Since you make it's an armor you have to yeah, be yeah, holding yeah. a Kensei yeah, weapon. Yeah. That's yeah. true. I knew, it, I knew it wasn't. Okay, okay. So then three hits hit you, but uh, they're Oof. not crazy hits at all. Literally, all three of them rolled one out of one d four. So you take two, two, and two. So you take six points of damage as like three cudgels start beating against you. And um, and on his turn, he actually is not going to uh, attack. He Too actually bad. steps back and stands defensively. You know, gets a shield up and just. Waits as you, you know, to see if you smarten up. Now, as you guys see this happening, uh, does Bastion or anybody say anything, or? I'm going Ryan's to walk standing up. Lexa Lenard invisible, and he just whispers, I know she's going to be a lot of blood, but I don't think there's any that? of the blood that we need. <laughs> I'm going to actually walk up and grab the, uh, the, like, blunted sword and shield, mm -hmm. and kind of just stand in it i'm not going to say anything yet because obviously there's a tension elsewhere but i'm going to essentially be ready to challenge um when Lenard's you do gonna... that he get, actually gives a verbal command like Atten -ha! and like and then you see literally all the other people in the area that are watching 
turn their attention like they, they all draw weapons and are prepared so as you pick those up you see that everybody else around has their weapons prepared so the number of people that were watching was like 20 five of them attacked now there's 15 more that are that have their weapons drawn but they're they actually have weapons drawn as opposed to just like simple cudgels or whatever um but they don't attack they don't step forward they don't do anything else they don't even get into defensive offensive postures beyond draw, drawing their weapons mm -hmm. um uh there are more people around that are certainly viewing this or whatever but they're not in this immediate circle as soon as this happens i'm just like i was simply going to challenge you to a spar seeing as my friend here it says parameters are set and they'll remain now uh after that is tell that's his turn go ahead punch him do it <laughs> just, just just keep punching him and then take some hits and then call it a day we gotta get some blood. It's mandatory. Yeah, Brand's just standing there blood. invisible, just waiting for the chance to press a digitation some blood into a vial that Leonard's like holding on this pouch or whatever. Like, I think it's funny, he could have just used the, the, the blunted sword without proficiency and, and, and attack that way. <laughs> oh well. But no no, this is this is how his character would be. He's an obstinate um, he's an obstinate yeah. person. It makes sense. Uh, yeah. uh so there's five guys right so let's start working through them then okay so you start swinging back at those guys instead of him okay. mm -hmm. so that's how he wants to play it it's a hit this is gonna be a while how much health do you have not that much it's okay none of these guys it's not like every one of these people that work for him are high level people right yeah that's why I'm, so, I'm so, so eight points of damage he drops one go ahead next one oh. Uh, a 13 is not a hit. It's not worth it. Next one. So you're three, so I, I'll, three I'll or punch four. four. Four attacks or three? It'd be four. He can, he can three as a bonus action, four with a key and a bonus action. That's what I'm asking. Okay, well, yeah, not four, because well, flurry blows. Flurry okay. blows. Okay. Flurry blows also. Go ahead. Um... So let's punch that guy who I missed. You hit. Ooh. You drop the fool. <laughs> and fourth attack. And next one. Oh. It's Rolled off the 16. Do you want to use a witch? Oh. Um, so you drop two people. It's now their turns. Um, um, do you have something? Okay. I, I could, but I'm not going to yet. Yeah. Okay. It's now their turns. Three people attack you, Tell. Uh, not everybody has. Um, uh, actually, so they reshuffle so that he counts as one. So all four, so you, all three of them do have the uh, the flanking bonus. Um, okay, holy crap. Uh, that's much better. So uh, one attack hits you for five points of damage. A second attack hits you. It's actually a critical hit for seven points of damage and third attack's a miss. So more or less all three of them are kind of like running in. So as you like drop, you, you swing and miss, but then you come back and you knock that person on their fucking ass. And then another one comes in and is a swing and a miss. That miss leads into somebody hitting you with the cudgel for the five. And then uh, you kind of like look to that person to kind of like defend yourself and like retaliate to that person. And that's where another one literally gets you in the back of the head, like right in the back of your head. And that's where you get the, the another seven points of damage right there from like a nasty blow from him. Um, you're able to defend yourself correctly against a third attack. Two more people filter in and take the spot of where the other two is, ha have fallen. And they shuffle again to kind of like uh, get a more new people. spot. Yep. You have to so the whole crowd. You're surrounded by five <laughs> plus him again. And it's still his turn. And um, uh, on his last turn, he didn't attack you. He doesn't attack you this time. And he says, um, he, he doesn't attack again. He just uh, watches as you start struggling. I would say just pick up the sword and shield. You only got to hit him like one or two times. Uh, I mean, the problem is now that if Tal doesn't roll better than him in initiative, he will just he'll go down. Uh, I mentioned that you'll probably take opportunity attacks if you try to go for the sword now. If you have some more key, you could sidestep everyone. Just try well, to hit. If, if you're so, talking about if you're talking about all that stuff, he could. That that's just a to meta. He can literally be like, okay, you know what I mean. Like that's not a concern. And his character's wise enough to know that he could just like, okay, okay, the rules. But is he, is he, is he 
wise enough to know when to quit. That's well, like I don't know. Roll that's a different like conversation. Kind of, yeah. if you're that's you, sure. dude. That's you. You yeah. get to decide that. Yeah. See, if you went that avenue, you know you could do that. You'd probably know that this is the last chance to really get his blood. True. That's very true. Fine. You've made your point. I yield. Um, he, you know, uh, says like a command. The five people uh, stand down and they start uh, pulling back the two that were knocked on their ass. Uh, one of them's conscious, but like groaning. And the other one's like knocked flat. Like the one you critical hit is like T <laughs> TKO. So, 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 uh, or KO, whatever. So you, uh, you knocked him <laughs> uh, unconscious. So you, uh, the, he pulls them back and he waits for you to go over and grab the sword and shield from Bastion who gestures them to you. And then he calls out to the rest of the troops and he says, and remember, this is why we have orders. This is why we have rules, structure. Everybody has commands, and when they follow them, things go well. They go according to plan, and you succeed the way that you want to. When things don't go according to plan, sorry, sorry when people don't follow orders, that's when you get the living shit kicked out of you. Luckily enough for you, today you can live to complain about it to whatever wench you pay to lie with you. His turn is once again, he does nothing. He, he has a defensive position. It's your turn with the weapons. Okay. Um, Tal will. So, this shield, is for, is, I presume it's a single grip, hand grip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like a buckler. He's going to wedge the sword in between the hand grip and yeah. hold on to the shield still and uh -huh. then just run up and punch him. <laughs> that is. Fucking hilarious. I love every part of it. Go. I, I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually going to say, uh, do you make this obvious or do you do it as you're running over? As he's running. Because he's learned what happens when he makes it obvious. There's no penalty for failure, but I want you to roll me a, uh, a sleight of hand. Uh, let me roll a check real quick. You actually catch him off guard with this because he was literally <laughs> grandstanding and like looking out and da da da. And so when you go rush up and attack him, he's surprised by this. I actually would give you like a fainting kind of advantage to counter the disadvantage you had because he was defending this turn, like I said last time. So so it's a normal attack. Go, sir. Get some blood, get some blood. Oh! oh <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Wait. He's okay. Flurry blows. He can. I, he, I've still got another. Attack. He says a second attack, which he's allowed to do. You know what I mean, so on and so forth. But I do have to roll something real quick. Oh my god! Because now we on that shield. Crunch. Uh oh, that's why I. Sorry, one second. And all right, nothing bad happens. Your turn. Oh, wait, was something bad could have happened? My yeah. hand could have deteriorated one condition. <laughs> uh, yep. So try again. Yep. Okay, you land a telling blow. So as you come up, um, uh, oh shit, you were supposed to roll that second one with disadvantage. Um, oh yeah, oh because dear. you had you cut off guard for the yeah, first yeah, no, one, no, sorry. No, that's, no, no, I won't hit. So it's 10. Do you want to? I can't. Which sense is it? I'd have to roll a six. It's so unlikely. You, you don't know his full AC, do you? Oh, I suppose you do. And you have anything I, else? I can, can have an estimated guess. Uh, in which case, you know, I'll just... a, you know that a 14 missed, you don't know about yeah. a 15 or a 16, so you have a 33% so in, in, chance. Instead, I'll just flurry of blows it. <laughs> Montel, tell your only hope. And just pray that. So I'm still disadvantaged, though. Jeez. So... You get two more tries with disadvantage. Okay. No! There goes the hand again. Please, RN Jesus. I know. This is all of the good. Um... Nothing bad happens. Most often, nothing bad happens when when you roll natty ones because I'm not big into critical failures. So I stack the dice in your favor for that one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh god! The three out of four, baby. So so he uh, he what you call it? Um, 
Yeah, you just miss flat out, just horribly miss. Yeah. Three so, ones. So as you miss a whole bunch of times, he looks at you flat in the eyes and says, pathetic. Now sit down, boy. And he attacks you. <laughs> um, your AC is 19, correct? A 18. Uh, 17. 17. He's not holding I need, a I need, I need a Kensai weapon in my hands. God, I would like to act after his turn. Or can um, I roll into an issue or whatever? Unfortunately, he would have hit you all three times. Oh, wait, wait, what did you see? 19 or 17? 17. Sorry, 17. so 17. So so he would have hit you all three times. Does um, the shield give a bonus AC just for having it? Actually, technically, it hurts his AC, but don't worry about that um, because he's a monk. So Oops. so all three times is a 10, a 9, and a 9. So it oh. actually would have been 28 points of damage. Um, so he hits you three times with the sword. So more or less, it's just like one, we're going to translate it as one heavy blow. It's like the, the, the side of your neck, you know, like right where your clavicle is. Actually, it's one of those things where he probably fractured your clavicle and you just drop. You just literally fall to your knees and flap unconscious. And then as he stands over you, he goes, and again, that's why we follow orders. However, while we know our enemies and we know how easily they can be defeated, and he kind of like rolls him over, his unconscious body over, with uh, the, the heel of his foot. It's important that we also know when we are outclassed. And then he picks his, he, he gestures down at the sword and shield on the ground and up at Bastion. And then takes a, a step back and has his shield up and sword uh, at the ready. going to step up. Hell yeah. I thought he was going to spit on him and there'd be a little bit of blood in it. And we were gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> I, w I was tempted to try and make a uh, spell weave suggestion to have him spit out some blood at this How point. I, uh, um, so you're gonna roll for initiative first. We're both gonna have to roll for it. Ah, oh, three ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take a little while to recover from that oh, one. Jesus, I keep rolling myself. absolutely garbage. What the hell? Oh, oh, actually, I forgot my modifier on that one. So that's a, a six. Sorry. That was oh! my ultimate hidden talent. Oh, it but I beat you. Transference yeah, of one. one. No, he had to roll twice. He didn't select the Oh, token. gotcha. Yeah. No, you beat me. Okay. And why, why didn't that update? There we go. Okay, so uh, it's a it's a 15 versus a 6 is what we have. So so Bastion picks up the items easily. You win initiative. You go first. Go, sir. What would I roll when I attack? Because I have my long sword. Long sword, but, long it's, sword, a... but it's just going to be one less. Okay. Because it's treated so, yeah. as what plus one chance to hit or whatever, so it's treated as a non-magical plus one weapon. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start off my attack by you know just swinging at him. I assume not at disadvantage or advantage or anything like that. Or now you win initiative. He can't really do anything. Oh, okay. okay. So, um. Okay, so unfortunately you rolled absolutely garbage. Right, but I get another attack. Uh, you do. So you just kind of swing out the first one. He easily blocks it, no problem. The second hey. attack, so it's a 22 total is what it actually is. So ignore those other details because it's not actually a Mahawken sword. So right. you, you connect with your second one. Roll your damage. Wow. <laughs> so it's actually only Ow. three damage instead of four. Um, because again, the regular, uh, the, the training one. So you deal three points of damage, which again, it's one of those things where you more like, he's able to deflect the blow enough that it hits him in the thigh. Not enough to actually make him bleed or anything. Uh, and then can you do anything else? Bonus action, anything or no? I'm going to shove him. Oh, sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Make your athletics check. Oh, okay. Uh... Come on, Bastion. Oh, no. Nice. Big shove. Uh, so you're able to shove them. Uh, so because you shove them, I make an opposed athletics check, and that's how it, it, it result, uh, resolves itself. Is it possible uh, for him to roll higher than a 24? No. <laughs> Literally impossible. Maybe he crit fills and tumbles. Oh, no, he falls so, on his so nose. So because you beat me, I get shoved back, but then by every five that you beat me, I get shoved back by an additional five feet. So, mm. so uh, you beat me by 13, so that's oh. 5, 10, 15... <laughs> Uh, 20 feet did you beat me by? Right, because five. Can't, can't, you, can't you choose to shove prone? Um, I would, with that much of a success, because you succeeded by, say, 10 or yeah, more. Yeah, if you win say, the yeah. contest, you oh, either yeah. not the target prone or push it five feet away not from him. him prone. Yep. Nice. And then I'm going to look at his, his troops, and I'm like, this is your leader? 
All right. You should have. You should have said pathetic. <laughs> now sit down. I almost wish you did. You <laughs> attacked, shoved it, and then attacked with advantage. That would have been. But but so so he so you do oh, that, yeah. and uh, you knock him prone, and he's on his ass, and he looks about, uh, whatnot, and he actually does one of those. kind of like he rolls backwards. So he like throws his feet over his head, rolls backwards, and uh, gets up on his feet. He's not like Leonard Graceful, where he'd like hip up or like flip up or anything like that. He's just right. enough to roll backwards, stand up, and then thrust at you with the sword. Um, so he's attacking at you, uh, Bastion. Um, Come on, Lord, rolls. Fudge the dice. Fudge the dice. So your AC with the shield is a 15, correct? Uh, swing attack, oh, yeah. block. Swing attack, block. Uh, third swing, he like swings up high. You go to block against your face, but that was like a feint, and he drops down low and clips you on the side of your knee for seven points of uh, uh of damage. Um, Holy shit! Seven points to the knee. Yep, seven points. Mm. So that that one hurts. And um, uh, as his uh bonus action, he's actually going to. Uh, do an opposed athletics check against you. You get to choose athletics or acrobatics. I'll describe it in a moment. I will use athletics. So <sighs> when he hit you in the knee, as he hit you in the knee, the next thing he does is he actually shoves upwards with a shield with all of his might to actually throw you backwards off of your feet. I actually got a nine versus your eight, so I literally beat you by one. So he throws you back. It's one of those, like, it's not just enough sheer force to throw you in your ass, but you stumble backwards and end up tripping over Tal, who's behind you, and then and, and end up falling on the ground, and he stands over you, and he says, they know who leads them. And um, and now it's your turn again. I don't want to pull insulting the man. <laughs> and I'm going to start attacking right back again. I imagine um, you like roll over, stand up, sort of a thing. It's probably a little bit clunkier than what he did. Yeah. Like I still, it's pretty quick, but it's not, you know. Mm -hmm. This is where it ends. <laughs> which is gonna which? Let's go. Oh, and nine yeah, points of damage. <laughs> and so the sword comes round, and it's one of those things where where he goes to block it but it actually goes just underneath the shield. And so he goes to block it and you end up clipping the part of his arm that's somewhat exposed because I described it as, as being a, uh, a buckler. And it's like one of those, you hit the funny bone and send sh like, so much pain up his arm, maybe even causing like, a fracture into the bone down there, like a mi micro fracture into the bone down there, like shin splint sort of a thing. But because it's like where you hit it, you end up nicking the, the skin so bad, it like rips it open and blood just starts uh, dripping down and pooling. <clears throat> and so when that happens, you blood get another. For the blood God. You still have your bonus and the rest of your attack. Go, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm shoving him, trying to knock him prone again. Yep. Uh, Give me a second. I got to. Sorry, I forgot to roll when you said that. Uh, It's actually a perfect tie. And ties go to the PCs in my game. It's a 17v17. Ties go to the PCs, so even less graceful of a win than what he just did against you. You do hit it with a shield and knock him down, but it's literally one of those things where you hit him with a shield and it's just so much pain goes up as uh, his, his, he tries to block your shield with his, goes up his arm. He almost like collapses from the amount of pain that he takes versus the actual like shove with the, the technique with the shield. And so he kind of like falls down to it to a knee as opposed to on his ass. Um, but still technically prone. So um, you get your other attack, sir, with advantage. And I, I get advantage. Shatter his arm. Do it. Hit it. Hit the weak arm again for good measure. <laughs> I do that or break his fucking as, nose. As I swing, I'm like, do you yield? <laughs> Just swinging down. <laughs> and, oh. and you fucked it up. <laughs> do you want to you wanna your sense? Because you got another one. So whatever number that sits after I typed it into chat. You added that, right, Rick? Yeah, it's back up to five. Okay, so you have but five. Just the D6, right? Correct, yeah. and I think you also have Come precision. On. I think you also have the ability of precision. Oh, yeah. yeah, use your superiority die first. Um, and I don't think that takes an action for you either. So, is it a? Hold on, I have to find it. It's under your uh, combat uh, superiority. I things. think yours is a D8, but I'm not sure. Doesn't precision it. give you advantage? You make a weapon attack against a creature. No, no, no. When you uh, you add a D8 to the attack, uh, yeah, it also the attack adds, roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Lucas and Thank I. you. Ooh, thanks, boys. Boys. <laughs> add your D8, boyo. Oh, I forgot to add a, a, a combat superiority die thing. Okay! No! Oh. oh! You hit! You hit! Roll your damn damage! And that 8 gets added to the damage I, as well. I, I honestly... So I that looked is... at that before. I think that's not true. Because oh, precision's that? already super powerful. I don't think it's attack and damage. Oh, is it not with more. precision then? So, so let me just check. So, uh, when you make an attack against the creature, expense superiority to add it. You can use the maneuver after attack, but before, uh, yeah. So precision is is okay. Just chance okay. to hit, not damage. Cool. Sure enough. All right. So that that's what makes Messi's ability, the advantage one, so much better. So you do three points of damage to the attack. So you hit him again while he's down, and so while he's down, and you say like all your words and everything, he will then this time he stands up. It's very obvious the way he's standing. He stands up slowly, standing up before you clearly open to attacks so it's one of those it's meant for you to not attack him because he leaves himself so open and he stops and he'll actually throw uh you know drop the sword into the ground with like a, a throw so it kind of sticks in and drops the shield and says you know, and he actually kind of like grabs the, his his uh the back of his arm his shield arms left arm so he like grabs the back of his hands kind of like rubbing it for a second because he knows it fucking hurts and he's like ah and he's like as i said you know when you're outclassed be wary of this men. Know those that you can defeat. Know when to work together and when to stand apart. But most importantly, know those who are better than you. Because when you encounter those scenarios, that's when you fall in. And everybody, all 18 of the conscious people, rush around you with swords drawn and whatnot and pointed at you, Bastion. And it's clearly like like anybody here, you, unless you roll a natty one on an inside check, and please feel free to roll. Like everybody but Tao is unconscious. Unless you roll Natty one and it's If I Nat one did oh that's that's an initiative roll. Sorry. <laughs> if I fucking Nat one this. Nah. Okay, so okay. uh that would have been fun to fireballs like woof everybody, suddenly ten dead. Everybody oh, and Bastion. So <laughs> everybody realizes that this is clearly meant to be like whipping it out and measuring. Like it's meant to be a show of force. Because his force isn't just him as an individual. His force is him as a unit. And he says, and that's when you fall in. And then when that happens, and there's like that moment of tension, everybody realizes it's again grandstanding. It's a show of force. Then he takes a step forward and also stands amongst all the blades and shakes it and extends his hand, which is now unfortunately soaked with blood, and shakes your hand. Like extends yours to shake it. I look around oh. at, you know, his forces for a moment, but I do reach out and shake his hand. He'll Probably say there amount of blood on my hand. <laughs> yeah. He he says to you he says to you, Well fought, Witcher, but I uh, I am no fool to think that I could defeat a Witcher in one on one combat. It is nice to know I can make one bleed. And uh he'll like gesture towards like a, a spot where he hit you kinda hard and you know, like you actually are your blood is drawn as well. And um and in, like, I also enjoy making you bleed. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives a command as he doesn't pick up any of the shit on the ground. He doesn't care about that. And he walks uh, back into the uh, into the building. You know, somebody coming over and like offering wraps to like wrap up his bandage and everything. Uh, eventually, you know, people kind of like filter out of the area. Da -da -da. Uh, this gives uh, you're invisible, correct, um, uh, Rick? Yeah. This gives you loads of opportunity to go around and like there's the blood that was soaked up on the, that, that dripped on the ground. There's like all the stuff, uh, you know, everywhere that's kind of uh, about. There's the blood that's literally on uh, Bastion's hand. There's like a whole bunch of samples of blood that you can easily gather. And so you do so. Um, do you cast any healing spells to wake up Tal or do you just like wait, wait, let him wake up with time? Not when there's people around. Okay. So again, people will always be about to a degree. Um, but like, you know, filter we can carry him inside. Like, yeah. yeah. So you guys carry him back to a, to a, or at least out of sight or into a tavern or whatever it is. And then maybe place your hand on him and heal him up. So you can cast your spell. Do you want to do third, first, second level? What are you doing? Just first. Okay. So he doesn't need a second. Yeah. So you heal him back up to six and he comes conscious again. Uh, obviously there were no death saves because you were just unconscious and it was a cinematic yeah. unconscious so you didn't just like pop up awake during it. So, so anyways, uh, eventually you guys kind of come to and um, what's said amongst you? Uh, Morning, sleepyhead. Uh, uh, yeah, you might uh, need this and I'll hand him some alcohol I found somewhere. 
Sure, no, no. Graceful display. Surely display. a lot of talent. The man we're fighting is a dangerous opponent. I I don't is is this are you mate? Are you trying to make me feel better, Gran? Oh look, you lost. Well, I'm trying to make me feel better. Bastion thankfully managed to draw some blood, so we can oh, well, you know, maybe that has something to do with the five guys that clobbered me. Thanks for the help, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're not trying Look, to start a riot here. It was an unfortunate circumstance with a coward that wanted to challenge you using a weapon that you were not used to. Exactly. Bastion at least has some honor. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, so were I to have intervened, none of us would have been alive. Because they uh, don't that's... take kindly to fire appearing out of nowhere. That's true. That's true enough, I suppose. Besides, I, I, I chose to stay invisible to get a good chance of collecting the blood that we so desperately need. We got it then. Don't worry about it. We got plenty. It changed my mind, by the way. Let's kill the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tao, do you need a knight or do you want to travel now? You guys have already wasted uh, overnight and then the better part of this day. Should we get going? One more night. I can't we camp along the way. I can't ride like this. Someone well, will need to we, lead we can do something about this. Like, like like motions to like this horrible, like already starting to go dark red wound. It's not. A I'll wound, put my but... hand on it and. Uh... Oh, a big boy. Oh, my God. Literally That's third level. He, he literally, he just pops straight back up to, to max health. <laughs> yep. yeah. oh. so, we, so we travel uh, now. I, I give you a pat on the shoulder. Like, all right, you ready to go then? Thanks, Bran. I appreciate it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And then you guys uh, gather your horses and head out of town. It's late in the day, early in the evening um, as you guys are heading out. Is this the best time to start a travel? Maybe not, but... There is a godling that might find you at any point in time. So <laughs> we do have two witchers, so I'm willing to risk it. You guys take to the roads and start your, your travel back to the city of Kyrgyz, um to, to meet with Malvoon. And with that, why don't we take our second break? Because I really have to pee. And so we'll see you all in just uh, about five minutes as we come back and continue the story. Uh, I don't think I announced at the beginning of the stream, so for those of you that are here and listening now, uh, this is actually going to be a five-hour session instead of four-hour because of awesome circumstances that are going on uh, outside of this campaign. So it'll be end up being five hours. We have three hours left. Big, thick energy. A big, big, thick energy. That's right. You see you all soon. contain it to four hours. <laughs> see you all soon. They're going to be swinging at each other for hours. <laughs> <laughs>